Hi, T.I.s. It's like five-something. I just woke up. Okay. Last night, <clears throat> you know, because I've been sleeping all day and night. Last night, I couldn't go back to sleep. You know, the people downstairs, I think it was last night, they were awake. Awake, awake. But they were real quiet. So, I took a half a Valium. A Valium that was like, it's probably about seven years old. You know, and it got me asleep. The Valium was like seven years old. It was prescribed to me. And I woke up this morning in freaking pain. And guess what? The guy next door, one of the main gang stalkers, hadn't been working on his lawn, which is a trip, because usually it's every day. But he's out there, you know, my window's wide open, and let's see, right outside my window, in his yard next door, working, and I can't even get up off the floor. You know, it's taking screaming and everything to get up off the floor. I'm in a lot of fucking pain. All of a sudden. You know, I don't know if next door that usually works on his lawn every fucking day for years. And the people in the fucking basement digging up there in that contaminated dirt. I don't know if they're messing with the Earth's magnet to do this shit, but... You know, I don't know nothing about the Earth's magnet, but I know you fuck with that, you know. <laughs> well, anyways... You know, so I wake up... I'm in so much pain. So, I take another half of the Valium to go back to sleep. The thing is, is that, you know, I've gone as far as being sober, you know, like up to six months or over six months. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes you're in so much fucking pain that you got to have something. You get me? And they sit there and point fingers. They sit there and fucking point fingers. Oh, she's doing this and she's doing that. That's the reason that we're doing this. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. Because those whole six months, they baited me and they tortured me even worse. They baited me and they tortured me even worse. Not even an aspirin I did. Not even a drink. Nothing. They bait you and torture you even worse until you need something to take the fucking edge off of the pain. And they sit there and act like they don't do shit. Which is bullshit. You know, one of their own that grew up here or if you're if you're somebody that was born and raised here, they don't mess with you. You could be a total crackhead, or you could be a total meth head, or an alcoholic, and they won't mess with you if you grew up here, or if you were born and raised here. But somebody from the outside, you know, like me or Gangstock in Pedro. There's a few people. There's a lot of people that are Gangstock in San Pedro or have been Gangstock and leave. And, you know, don't let these Gangstockers fucking fool you and shit. They're not sober. They might seem like they only smoke weed or that they only drink. It's not true. It's not true. 
And I know this. I know this. And I know, and I know that they don't fuck with their own. Because I've been around their own. You know, one of my good friends just passed. She was from Rancho San Pedro. The only one, her and her family, that I can say that has always been my friend. You know, she told me. She told me, yeah, I know you're targeted. I would never ask her anything else. Because I know she has love and loyalty. You know, she has love and loyalty, you know, to her team. And she loves San Pedro. And, you know, so I would never ask her anything else. But that in itself was a big deal. Her just telling me that. Because that's the only person that has n never turned on me, that knows me from my core, that I've been there for her, and she's been there for me. You know, and there's been time on Facebook, Facebooks, where I've blocked everybody fr that from San Pedro. And, um... She'd be like, why'd you block me, sad girl? And I'd tell her. I said, because, because of me being targeted, they were torturing me, so I blocked everybody off my, my, my Facebook from San Pedro. And she'd just smile at me and tell me, you know what, sad girl, I love you. You're my friend. You know, if that's what you feel you have to do, you know, go ahead and block me. You know, and she told me that, and she said, "You got my number, and you can call me when it stops. You know, you feel comfortable, call me." But she knew, and she was a good friend. Yeah. Yeah, if you're one of their own, you could be an alcoholic, you can drink all day, you could be a crackhead running around in the middle of the street. It wouldn't matter if you're one of their own. But I'm not from around here. And I never tried to be from around here. You know, hey, just like my friend. I love where I'm from, and I love my city, too. But I've never disrespected San Pedro. Never. You know? And my friend, it wasn't about gangbanging and shit like that. It was about family, love, and friendship. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was about. And rest in peace to her, because she's an awesome person. And I know that she's with God. But um, as far as these gang stalkers, you know, yeah. Him next door. Boom, doing work right outside my fence. Well, not my fence, the apartment fence, whatever. And I stand up and my legs looked like I was marching around all night. It's bullshit. So the reason I'm, I'm back up, I'm up, and it's like morning to me. Is because I couldn't take the pain. That early in the morning. Took the other half of that Valium. And if I have to. March around all night. Out of pain. 
That's fine. Because <sighs> Valium, I mean, come on, that Valium is like seven years old. Do I look like I'm fucking high? I'm hot. I gotta take the sweatshirt off. That was just to sleep in. Peace out, my fellow TIs. Oh, God, my legs hurt so bad. I appreciate you guys.